This is the 2020 Virtually Adapted Green Industry Awards. Special mention and thanks to all our partners and sponsors whose support made this event possible. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your MC, Mr. Paul Vonk. A very warm welcome to the annual Green Industries Award Ceremony. I am Paul Vonk, and it is my pleasure to be your MC for this evening. Before for circumstances, our very first ever intergalactic version of the annual Sana Sali and Cedric Award Ceremonies, usually held at a glittering black tie Oscar style ceremony prior to a spectacular gala dinner where the top trophies are awarded to South Africa's top achievers in the green industry. The ceremony is indeed intergalactic as we broadcast on platforms including Facebook Live and YouTube. So whether you are a member of the public to have found us, or perhaps a member of our global international garden center association, or ordinary members of SANA, Sali or Sadrik, you are most welcome. And it's not too early for an aperitif. So we invite you to get comfortable Sit back and relax and thoroughly enjoy the next hour or so with us while we shut out the mad world around us as we salute and congratulate South Africa's top garden centers, home stores, landscapers, and individuals who have excelled and are deserving of all the accolades and laurels. Ladies and gentlemen, none of this would be possible without our generous industry sponsors. You will have seen all the brands and logos on screen during the introduction. So to all the sponsors on behalf of all of us, a most sincere thank you to the 2020 Sana Star and Diamond Sponsors, the Sali Trophy Sponsors, and the Sadrik Sponsor Partners. We applaud your continued generous and loyal support, especially during this awful crisis. Thank you. Wow, we've had a smooth run of 20 years. In fact, you can make that 73. The formation of Sana in 1947, just after World War II, was the forerunner of most other green industry groupings in South Africa. And our umbrella organization, Sadrik, arranged the first green industry convention in the year 2000 in the Drakensberg. During the ensuing two decades, we enjoyed networking of the highest order, with meetings, trade days, conventions, and award ceremonies, culminating in this evening, our 21st convention. The current pandemic ensured that a live convention would be out of the question this year, and after consideration of numerous alternatives, it was decided that we condense convention 2020 into a highlights package and we have neatly shoehorned all the best bits into the next 75 minutes. Some missing elements are the absence of thunderous applause and musical fanfares, but for the organizer, there were a few plus points this year. We didn't have to incorporate smoke breaks because you're not allowed to, and we didn't have to worry about hotel liquor prices again because you're not allowed to. But we have incorporated a short six minute breather approximately halfway. So what are we in for, ladies and gentlemen? In the first half, we present all the individual awards, regional awards and project specific trophies, which we would normally present at a function we call the Oscars, an hour or so prior to the start of gala dinner. Then in the second half, we present the top personal awards, the gold medal, the honors roll, and the overall trophy winners, which we usually present later in the evening during the black tie convention gala dinner. To do all of this, we come to you live from myself in Johannesburg, Johan de Preer with the GCA awards in Mayerton, Peter Runkle with the Sana Awards in Cape Town, and Warwick Brown mixing it all together in the Gardner Studios in KZN. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're ready. We begin with a welcome address from the chairpersons and president of Sadrik, Sali, and Sana, all recorded earlier on video. Good day, friends and colleagues in the green industry. It's a shame that we're not able to meet in person this year but we all have to adapt to the situation caused by COVID-19. After our scheduled annual convention was postponed due to the lockdown regulations, it became apparent that it would not be a good idea to present it later this year. Sajik, together with Sana and Sali, felt that the awards normally handed out at the convention gala dinner should still be presented as it involves a lot of hard work both by the judges and the participants. Sajik will be hosting a virtual conference or webinar later this year. The information will be posted on our website 
and social media as it becomes available. We also want to thank our platinum, gold, silver and bronze partners for making today and the virtual conference a possibility. We appreciate your support. Their logos will be displayed during the program. Enjoy the show. Congratulations to all the winners and we hope to meet each other again in 2021. Good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of the South African Landscapers Institute, I take great pleasure in welcoming you to this collaborative Sali Award ceremony today. For the past 36 years, Sali has been celebrating the successes of winners of these uh, Sali Awards of Excellence. This year, we received 127 entries. Unfortunately, nine had to be withdrawn due to COVID-19 uh, restrictions um, in terms of accessing sites. We had another two which did not meet standards and uh, one disqualification. So from the balance, the uh, Merit Award winners, the Bronze, Silver and Gold were awarded. From that grouping, we are today celebrating the highest accolade that can be bestowed on our members. And those are the Trophy Awards and the one and only National Shield Award. I'd also like to introduce our new national judge, Johan van Rooyen, who is a qualified landscape architect. Uh, he was a Cape Regional judge as well, and his role is to ensure uniformity and objectivity and standards are complied with throughout all regions. I'd also really like to thank all the regional judges who um, put aside time to visit all our sites and ensure that once again, fairness and objectivity are applied to all sites. The outcome of the um, evaluation of the award entries is the best kept secret. Uh, in anticipation, today I would like to congratulate all the award entrants who, who participated. And I would also like to mention a word of thanks to our loyal sponsors who support this event. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to join us. COVID-19 has turned the world upside down. Everything has been impacted. How we live and interact with each other, how we work and communicate, how we move and travel around. As a result, we have had to adapt the way we do things. And this event you are attending is one of such adaptions we have had to make. Please make yourself comfortable wherever you may find yourself while we celebrate excellence during this online SANA Awards function. In the words of the Grecian philosopher Aristotle, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choices of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. The members that we honor and congratulate today have reaped what they have sown, no doubt assisted by their staff and support systems. They set ambitious but realistic targets formulated sensible strategies and buckled down and did the difficult work to bring it to the reality that we celebrate today. Let's enjoy this event together. Let us congratulate the recipients. And lastly, let us give thanks to all those that have made this occasion possible. To William and his team for putting this event together, to the SANA Executive Committee, to our hosts, Paul Fonk and Johan de Prier, to Gerdy and the office staff, and most importantly, to all the members of the South African Nursery Association watching today, my sincere thanks. I look forward, hopefully in person, to seeing you all soon. Thank you, Anna Marie, Nora and Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, it's one thing talking to a live packed audience, but it's extremely difficult talking into a camera with a blank screen all on your own. We've all had to acquire new skills and you guys did an amazing job with the videos. Well done and thank you once again. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce my co-presenter for the evening. He will present all the GCA competition results. They call him Panda. He joins us live from Ayrton. A warm welcome, Mr. Johan de Preer. Thanks, Paul, and a warm welcome from Ayrton. Good afternoon and welcome to our first virtual awards. I'm delighted to be here today. I must be honest, it's going to be disappointing not to be able to see your facial expressions when you receive your prestigious awards today. I would like to express our sincere appreciation and thanks to our diamond sponsors without who this competition would not be possible. Atlantic Fertilizers, Bark Unlimited, Kultera, the Tainir and the Gardener magazine, Mayfit Seeds and Stark Eggs. I also would like to thank our four evaluators, Di, Wendy, Dorian and Paul for working extremely hard, no matter the weather, rain, wind or extreme heat. Dawn Collard, our moderator, thanks for all your guidance and support. You are one in a million. Wendy, my right hand, thanks for the professional way that you assist me in this competition. After 11 years, I do not think anyone can do this better than you can. Finally, to our SANA president, Peter Rankel, thank you and your exco for the guidance and support for the GCA competition. And to the independent garden centers and the home stores, every year the standards of the competition gets raised because you all do such an amazing job. You leave us with no choice but to hand out the one award after the other. Our 2020 gradings was announced and we have seven platinum independent garden centers, one platinum home store, nine gold independent garden centers and 16 gold home stores. Well done to all. Thanks for creating an X Factor in your stores. You really make this an unforgettable experience for your customers. Today, we will see who's the top of the pops, the creme de la creme, the best on the block. Good luck to all. And now, for a word from our Sali National Judge, Johan van Rooyen. As we find ourselves at yet another end of the Sali Awards of Excellence cycle, we can look forward to recognizing the outstanding work done by the industry. I personally would like to thank the Sali Executive for putting their faith in me and appointing me as the national judge, a task that I regard with much personal honor and hope to have performed to the best of my ability. As national coordinating judge, it is my duty to ensure unbiased, uniform adjudication based on the rules and regulations of the awards of excellence. 2020 saw a slight decrease in the total number of projects entered from last year's 145 down to 117 projects entered. This year, COVID-19 and the government lockdown regulations severely disrupted our planned judging schedule and related activities that would have normally have taken place. The Sali National Committee and I arbitrated that all out-of-town sites not judged prior to lockdown be withdrawn from the awards. A total of 18 projects had to be digitally evaluated during the national lockdown, again demonstrating the need for accurate portfolio information and evidence. A huge thank you goes out to all of the regional judges for the time spent making my job a lot easier, as well as the Sali administrators around the country for compiling the paperwork and making sure that the process runs smoothly. During this year's judging, I was truly amazed at the diverse range of disciplines that are required from a Sali contractor. The amount of specialized hard landscaping that fringes on civil engineering work that is increasingly required to stay competitive needs to be recognized and applauded. It is important that the industry acknowledges this and continues to develop themselves by embracing new operational practices and embrace ecologically sound practices that will keep them one step ahead in an ever-changing industry. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this process, 
an honor I take to heart by trying to help improve the standing and standard of this very special industry. Congratulations to all of the winners this year. Thank you, Johan. And guys, this is getting quite exciting on Facebook over 100 and YouTube 71. You're most welcome to join us. Thank you for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, all the intros are done. We are ready to roll. And we begin by crossing to Cape Town to SANA President, Mr. Peter Runkel, with the SANA Merit and Service Awards. Good afternoon to you all from a sunny Cape Town. It gives me great pleasure to announce the Merit Award for the 2020 year. Embracing the relationship between SANA and the home stores within GCA has seen us strengthen those ties. Her support of the GCA competition has led to her using it as a valuable tool in raising the standards of the sector. Being part of the GCA competition committee for many years, she has helped guide the competition to improve that relationship. This Merit Award says thank you for your continued promotion and support of the association. The award goes to Fiona Delport, Builders Warehouse. Congratulations Fiona, we at SANA are most grateful for all you have done. Water use and water conservation have had an effect on our industry for many decades and will continue to do so, so long as water accessibility stays on the country's agenda. SANA has had an ally for many years, helping us and guiding us through this. His papers on water issues have been presented at our conventions and through the Working for Water campaign, he has supported the GCA with information making water-wise second nature. He continues to build this relationship and with his latest project, the Hydro Zoning of Plants, he is adding benefits to our industry, which will be with us for years to come. The man who once famously said, his job is to make us use less of what he is selling. The Service Award for 2020 recognizes his commitment and enthusiasm and carries with it our appreciation for being part of our industry. Leslie Hoy, Randwater. Well done, Leslie, on a most deserved award. And I'll now hand you back to our MC, Paul Fong. Rewind. Thank you so much, Peter, and very well done to Fiona and Leslie. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the Sali Awards of Excellence trophies. The Sali Awards of Excellence were announced last week Friday, and we will now announce the 10 project-specific trophy winners. And for variety, we alternate them with the SANA GCA Competition Regional Awards. One of the SALI trophy winners will take the overall SALI shield later this evening. But for now, we begin with the trophy for the best novice entry. The trophy for the best novice entry 2020. This annual award is made to the best project submitted by a contractor who is participating in the awards of excellence for the very first time. The best novice entry for 2020 goes to the OH Multi Group for the project Hurlingham Close. Welcome to the OH Multi Group on their first entry into the Sali Awards. It's wonderful to see a new company entering into the awards with so much enthusiasm and passion. The group has put in a superb effort in maintaining a challenging site in Hurlingham, Johannesburg, with limited resources. Using water-wise plants and good mulching techniques, 
the team displayed a creative response to landscape maintenance, impressing both the body corporate and individual homeowners. The judges hope to see more projects from this creative team of landscapers in the future. Many congratulations. The Bayford Floating Trophy for the best use of color and landscaping. First awarded in 2009, the trophy for 2020 goes to Bartevium Landscape Development for a house in Glen Hazel. Spectacular flowering bougainvilleas are a vibrant, colorful frame to a sunny pool area in this Glen Hazel garden, which received the double gold award for waterwise landscaping excellence. Plantings of blue and white agapanthus provide a classical frame border to a volleyball field on emerald green lawn surrounded by tall trees. The client's brief for this colorful landscape was outstandingly interpreted and executed. The result is a beautifully designed and installed garden which incorporates recreational areas that are well suited to the style and feel of the house. A tranquil, shadowy, measure garden adds a touch that is appropriate to the informal concept of recreation and color. The high-end finishes are installed to perfection. The use of Color in a garden to enhance but not overwhelm the landscape has truly been captured on this project. Sincere congratulations. And we move to the Bristol Cone nursery floating trophy for the most innovative and original use of plant material first awarded at the 2011 Sajic convention the trophy for 2020 goes to over the garden wall for house Janssen. this project is an outstanding double gold award winner for both landscape design and water wise excellence the landscape garden of house Janssen is located against the high felt copy surrounded by natural grassland the design complements and merges seamlessly into the felt backdrop. The choice of plants is both aesthetic and functional. Slope stabilization and stormwater drainage is well managed using both innovative hard and soft landscaping materials. The design solutions implemented on site reflect a superb display of landscaping knowledge and horticulturally appropriate plant choice. Innovative plant combinations and superb plant placement creates unusual, unexpected and interesting visual effects. The overall design is sensitive to pathway flows on the sloping areas, making for a breathtaking experience. The brief from the client was massively executed and the resulting landscape exceeded all expectations. Well, so many congratulations to Over the Garden Wall. And we now cross to Johan for the Sana Home Store Regional Awards. Thank you so much, Paul, and congratulations to all. To achieve a regional award, the minimum requirement is a gold grading. We move into the Eastern Cape, the Windy City and Port Elizabeth. Build this warehouse, Port Elizabeth. Congratulations to Melanie and her amazing team. We move to Gauteng North, the sunny Pretoria, Builders Express, Linwood. Congratulations to Tanya and her fabulous team. We move to Gauteng South, the city of gold. Builders Express, Lambton. Congratulations to the Lambton team. We're moving to KwaZulu Natal, the subtropical climate and extensive beaches. Builders Express Hillcrest. Congratulations to the Hillcrest team. You are awesome. Last but not least, the Western Cape, where you are spoiled for choice when it gets to the wine. Builders Warehouse Cape Gate. Congratulations to the Cape Gate team. You are one in a million.
Congratulations to all the home store regional winners. I'm handing over to Paul and the City of Gold for more Sali Trophy Awards. The Randwater Floating Trophy for the best water wires entry. This was first awarded 20 years ago at the very first Hadjik Convention. And the trophy for 2020 goes to Macquaid's Landscapes for the Executive Estate. Set high on the Lucia Ridge of Schlanger Rocks, the Executive Estate is awarded a double gold for water-wise landscaping excellence and is this year's best water-wise entry. The landscape project with in-house design, the Executive Estate offers an astounding example of water conservation philosophy and attention to detail. The entrance gatehouse garden features a host of water-wise features, including well-modeled berms with large rounded boulders, a reticulating stream and water feature. Water-wise form plants are the focus of a border in a high profile area, which includes screening shrubs and a high density of perennial planting. The plants are well layered and suitably spaced to provide a tranquil and peaceful ambiance within the complex. Waterwise plant choices included indigenous acacia and aloes. The coloring of the boulders complements the site and the ground has been naturalistically modeled and cleverly planted to allow pedestrian access behind the beds. Inside the complex, an island bed cut into the gray and black marble is sensitively planted with gray desert roses. Congratulations for an outstanding achievement. The Reliance Compost Trophy for the best specialized landscape construction. First awarded in 2007, the trophy for 2020 goes to Chuele Pellet Plants for Park Dean Extension 6. Earthworks, paving, gabions, playgrounds, and water features were all part of this extensive landscaping project around newly built residential apartments in Boxburg. Working block by block as the builders completed apartments, the project site showcases excellence in specialized landscape construction. Water was limited on site, and the design of the wetland ponds with a reticulate water system based on grey water and stormwater harvesting was implemented masterfully. Soil levels, shaping, berms, and the installation of specialist play equipment were superbly executed. Construction challenges in the boulevard area were solved creatively, highlighting the team's ability to solve problems and adapt to situations. The team's initiative and willingness to go the extra mile earned them a well-deserved Goal. Congratulations. And we move on to the Andreas Still Trophy for the best landscape and turf maintenance. First awarded in 2007. The Salio Awards of Excellence Trophy for 2020 goes to Service Landscaping and Turf for the FNB Stadium. The service team installed the Sports Turf Arena at the iconic FNB Stadium a decade ago for the 2010 World Cup Soccer. With an impressive maintenance record, the service team have created a fantastic example of sports pitch perfection. Major state events and concerts held in the stadium pose challenges. However, even considering the project constraints and damage inflicted on the field, the judges found it very difficult to find anything wrong with the site. Rainwater harvested from surrounding roof structures and hard surfaces is successfully stored in an underground water reservoir and used for irrigation with great success. There is evidence of a good feeding program with great attention to landscape and turf maintenance detail. The FMB Stadium received a double gold award for water-wise and maintenance excellence. Well done, service landscaping. And now we cross back to Johan for the Sana Independent Regional Awards. Thank you so much, Paul. 
now for the Independent Regional Awards. We move into the Free State, the Friendly City. Greenside Quakerai. Congratulations to Jan and his creative team. We move to Gauteng North, the Jacaranda City, Plantland Menlo. Congratulations to Rihanna and your amazing team. We move to Gauteng South, Oza Josie, Garden Pavilion Eckarts. Congratulations to Wayne and his awesome team. We move all the way to Mapumalanga, Mombambela, hot as hell. Concrete Garden Creation. Congratulations to Claudia, Renir, and your fabulous team. We move all the way to the Western Cape. Spectacular mountain views. Stodals Nursery Balbal. Congratulations to the Stodals Balbal team. You are amazing. Congratulations to all the independent regional winners. We welcome back Paul for more prestigious Sali Trophy Awards. The Evergreen Turf Trophy for the best specialized turf construction. First awarded 2007. And the trophy for 2020 goes to Turf Tech PDR Limited for the project Aston Manor Prep. This 2,275 square meter site included the upgrade and transformation of existing grass netball courts into an artificial multi-use sports surface for netball and hockey. The cricket nets were also upgraded. The judges had the privilege of seeing the school's learners use the facilities which testified to the quality of the end product. The site is one year old and the facility still looks like it was built yesterday. This beautifully constructed multi-purpose sports ground has been built to an international standard. The different materials used for different purposes were professionally laid and joined seamlessly. A very high quality construction project which received the double gold for water wire design and installation. Many congratulations. And we move on to the Charla Plant Brokers Trophy for the best environmental landscape. This trophy first awarded in 2009. The 2020 trophy goes to Vula Environmental Services for Hout Bay Dune Rehabilitation. Vula Environmental Services is a pioneer in the field of environmental landscaping and rehabilitation. The Hout Bay Dune Rehabilitation Site is a showcase of world-class rehabilitation undertaken in the windy, challenging coastal microclimate. There is ample evidence to suggest that the project was well researched, scientifically motivated, and executed with world class competence. This June site did not allow for fine scale planning, but rather for adaptive ecological management. For example, the irrigation was only switched off once the plants had established and set seed on the dune. The Hout Bay Dune Rehabilitation Project provides a full spectrum of innovation and rehabilitation. It will make a measurable and remarkable difference to the residents of Hout Bay. The recipient of a double gold award for WaterWise Environmental Landscaping Excellence. Congratulations, Dion van Eden and your team. Very well done. And now we cross back to Johan in Mayerton for the Sanda Most Improved Awards. The most improved home store for 2020 received a bronze grading in 2019 and this year were awarded a gold grading. They jumped two gradings. Congratulations to Boulders Express Nuertjevel. Congratulations to the Nuertjevel team. We move over to the Independent Garden Center Most Improved. 
the most improved independent garden center for 2020 received a bronze grading in 2019 and this year they were awarded a gold grading they jumped two gradings congratulations to the Stodals Nursery Centurion team. Congratulations to the most improved awards. I'm handing over to Paul and Josie to announce the awards for the best landscape construction for Sali. We move on to the Just Trees Trophy for the best landscape construction with design by others. First awarded in 2007, the 2020 trophy goes to Eduwe Landscaping for Sibaya Coastal Precinct. The Sibaya Coastal Precinct lies on Durban's north coast. Sibaya Casino is the focal point of seven nodes planned across 1,000 hectares of coastal landscape. The aim of the project was to connect and integrate the different areas by paths, trails, and green boulevards. The project reflects a successful collaboration between landscape architect and contractor. The judges were impressed by effective combinations of tree planting and ground cover combinations. For example, swarthy figs emerge from striking lime green euphorbia and scarlet kalanchoe. Healthy, robust trees are visually enhanced by a ground cover layer of flat, layered sandstone rock and coral trees emerge from gently molded, mounded earth. The landscaping of the Rhode Island up to the second circle is superbly executed. Understory water, understory planting in large color blocks is particularly striking. Overall, a bold, striking, and aesthetically pleasing landscape that uplifts the visitor. A masterful double gold award for excellence in water-wide landscaping. And now, the BC Landscape Training and Consultancy Trophy for the best landscape construction with in-house design. First awarded in 2006, the 2020 trophy goes to Hingham Nursery for House Baberstock. This delightful indigenous garden was created to the client's existing house on an adjacent parcel of land. The new landscape is seamlessly linked to the existing garden by gravel paths, flanked by a harmony of green ground covers flowering shrubs, and soft evergreens, such as the lavender croton. A dry rock wall provides shelter for a fire pit. Short railway sleeper stairs provide access to the circular, well-placed gravel access paths, allowing entry to the fire pit from all sides. The on-site design utilizes economical cut and fill techniques to create a sheltering berm that encloses the visitor on all sides. These earthworks are extremely effective in creating a glorious green outdoor garden room from what was originally a flat piece of land. This landscape installation within our design was awarded a double goal for water-wise landscaping excellence. Many congratulations. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the Sali specific, project specific trophy winners. Sincere congratulations to all the trophy winners and just exactly who will take the 2020 Sali Shield will be revealed shortly. We now cross back to Johanna Merton for the final individual awards, the Sali Independent Size Category Awards. It gives me great pleasure to announce the Independent Size Category Awards. And the Large Garden Center for 2020 is awarded to Greenside Quakerai. Congratulations to Jan and his amazing team for winning this prestigious award once again. We move over to the Medium Garden Center for 2020 and this award is awarded to Garden Pavilion Eckhart. Congratulations to Wayne and his team for an outstanding achievement. We move to the Small Garden Center 
2020, and this award goes to Concrete Garden Creations. Congratulations to Claudia and your creative team for winning this award once again. Congratulations to all size winners. You are one in a million. All back to you. Thank you so much, Johan. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the first half of this evening's award ceremony, which we call the Oscars. But don't go too far away. When we return, we present the overall winners, awards, and trophies usually presented at convention during gala dinner. We now take a very short break of just six minutes with a word from our esteemed platinum and diamond sponsor partners. How do we measure our hopes and dreams? Our vision? Our plans for the future and our knowledge of the past? We see our dreams become a reality and our hopes turn into happiness. That is how we help South Africa grow bigger, stronger and better. Atlantic Fertilizers. Growth you can measure. Now you can enhance the beauty of your garden by using Mayford Seeds with a full range of vegetables, flowers, herbs and lawn grasses. Mayford Seed Packs are hermetically sealed and date stamped, ensuring a quality product that you can trust. To grow your own vegetables, herbs, flowers and lawn, explore our seed stand at any leading retailer for sheer inspiration. Mayford Quality Seeds, the leading brand. fingered gurus and plant killers alike. We got you covered every month with gardening inspiration, hands-on practical advice and fun projects to do. From the latest in plant fashion, growing your own, whether to prune or not to prune, from cover to cover, The Gardener and Detainee magazines have got your back. Get your copy now or subscribe online at thegardener.co.za. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, I've tipped into something slightly more spectacular for the top awards. Johan and Merton, welcome back. And let's see what you look like. There we go. Smashing as expected. Johan and I came up with this plan a year ago when we co-presented the first Oscar ceremony. And it's just to add some life to the party with a jacket change. And when it became clear that this event would not be live this year, we decided to continue as planned. After all, the show must go on. Ladies Absolutely. and gentlemen, dress to kill, we kick off the second half with the Sadrick Training Trophy.
the SADRIC Training Trophy for 2020, sponsored by Andrea Still. In 1994, they set up a water-wise advocacy and training team. For nearly 30 years, this team has generated advocacy materials which are used in lectures, at training seminars in social media, and distributed at shows and through magazines, newspapers, and radio. Using an ever-increasing reservoir of training materials, the WaterWise Advocacy and Training Team have trained hundreds of sales staff at garden centers, given WaterWise training talks at hundreds of green industry events, and exhibited at most silent trade shows since 2000. They support the Sali WaterWise Trophy through naming rights, and have used images of the Sali Award-winning WaterWise landscaping sites to train landscapers how to measure water use and adhere to WaterWise principles. They have produced two 48-page A4 booklets entitled WaterWise Guides to Landscaping over the last decade. It will be no secret who we are referring to, ladies and gentlemen. The Sajic Training Trophy for 2020 goes to the WaterWise training team at Randwater, headed by Leslie Hoy. Warm congratulations, Leslie, to you and your intrepid training team. Randwater does extensive training on golf courses and regularly trains the TPMA members on the latest techniques in WaterWise management for golf courses. Their training is backed up by the Randwater WaterWise Guide to Golf Courses. They are worthy recipients of this year's trophy. For the Sali Judges Discretionary Awards 2020, I am proud to honor Dr. Gerard Grissel for his contribution to landscape architecture education in South Africa. Currently, there is a huge demand to assist previously disadvantaged landscape students and to help them achieve professional registration with SACLAF. Yet, there is a shortage of landscape architects with a needed background in academics to develop courses and to support these students. In 2018, Dr. Grissel published his PhD thesis a framework for enhancing the design skill set of foundation program landscape architecture students. And for the past three years, Dr. Grissel has been playing a major role in the transformation of landscape architecture in South Africa. Working with the Department of Public Works, SACLAP, ELASA and SALI, he is running a mentorship program connected to funding and bursaries. This mentorship program works with black female landscape students these students could potentially feed into SACLAP accredited master's qualification and possibly within the next three years be the first black female landscape architects in South Africa. Through SACLAP he has been actively involved due to strategically develop academic courses at CPUT that respond to national need, help expand professional registration categories and promote transformation. In his work, he has developed and oversaw many new lecturing solutions and large departmental projects from beginning to end. He serves as Head of Programs and Landscape Architecture Convener. He serves on the SACLAP Educational Committee, where he has been instrumental in conceptualizing and strategically developing academic courses that respond to our national need and help expand professional registration categories. Please consider his vision for landscape architecture education and research in South Africa. Again, congratulations, Dr. Gerard Grissel. Thank you, Johan, and congratulations to Dr. Gerard Grissel. Now, we cross to Cape Town to Peter Runkel for the SANA President's Award. Thank you, Paul. One of the privileges of being the SANA president is to award the president's trophy. SANA is blessed with an army of volunteers who give selflessly of their time to serve, promote and support our industry, which also makes us one of the hardest tasks as a president to perform. They say, successful is the person who leaves the world better than that, fails to look for the best or give the best of themselves. I think this embodies this year's recipient, always giving of themselves, 
trustworthy and loyal to a fault. A humble individual, always there, never looking at night and a real can-do attitude. I have been honoured and privileged to work with and lean on this individual over the last couple of years. I know he still has an important part to play in our industry going forward. It gives me great pleasure to award the President's Trophy for 2020 to Mr. Dependable, Peter Dijf. Well done, Pete. Eister, geniet jou rus. Ek is seker ons sal jou weer binnenkort op die beheer lichaam. Good afternoon. It is really a great privilege to be able to identify an individual working on our industry um, as a worthy recipient of the SALI um, National Chairperson's Discretionary Award. There are certain criteria that have to be met um, and that is that the individual contributes to our industry and not necessarily only SALI, it could be an environmental contribution, uh, a contribution in the form of media, um, and in terms of length of service within the industry, it, they need to have been involved for a minimum of 10 years. So our recipient this year is a professional landscape architect with over two decades experience working to, as a design landscape architect, an environmental manager, policy writer, and more recently in um, sustainable uh, consultant. Um, the second half of his career, he focused um, almost entirely on environmental management and uh, mid-career took a sabbatical and studied his Masters in Sustainable Development at the University of Stellenbosch. In 2008, he was a member of the Green Building Council team and was commissioned to customise the Green uh, South African uh, rating tool for office construction and design in the South African context. Recently, he's worked with the group to pilot the Biodiversity Area Standard as International Landscape Sustainability Standard for use in South Africa. During his recent term as president of ELASA, he drew attention to sustainability within landscape architecture and he actively sought opportunities to participate in built environment uh, conversations through industry forums, such as Built Environment Professions Group and um, South African Green Industries Council. He has represented ELASA together with colleagues in numerous industry consultation engagements hosted by government towards policy development. He lives in Schwani with his wife and three sons and with his free time he explores the potential of artificial intelligence, amateur electronics, he practices Aikido and maintains his organic vegetable garden. So this award is really to acknowledge his contribution during his term as the LASA president to support SALI initiatives and particularly um, his contribution and his attendance at meetings um, for our landscaping standards and for the JBCC contract addendum that Professor Fosslew has been working on. But it's also in recognition of someone whose passion it is to shift the thinking of the built environment uh, towards more ecologically and socially uh, responsible practices, which I believe is of utmost importance uh, for our industries going forward. So it's with great pleasure that I present the National Chair's Discretionary Award to Eamon O'Rourke. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nora. And well done, Eamon. We are super proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, now it gets serious. We cross to Meriton, to your hunt, where there's a frenzy of activity, getting ready to announce the 2020 Sana Home Store and Garden Center of the Year trophies. Over to you, your hunt. Thank you so much, Paul. Uh, we will be awarding the top of the pops, the creme de la creme final two awards for the 2020 Garden Centre competition. It gives me great pleasure to announce the home store of 2020. Gold is where our daughter Elizabeth. Congratulations for 
the home store of the year for 12 years in a row. This is an outstanding achievement. Well done to Lara, Melanie, and the rest of your amazing team. Now, the time we've all been waiting for, the garden center of the year 2020. Who will take home the Jimmy Milan trophy today? The top three in the running for this prestigious award is the following garden centers. Greenside Quakeray, Garden Pavilion Eckharts, and Concrete Garden Creations. And the winner for the 2020 Independent Garden Centre competition is Greenside Quaker <coughs> Congratulations to Jan and your fabulous team for winning the Garden Centre of the Year for the second time. Your Garden Centre is like a paradise. You are surrounded with beauty. Congratulations to the Home Store of the Year and the garden center of the year you guys really did one amazing job i hand you back to paul my goodness what other excitement and i'm sure glad i don't have to clean up at your place you one many congratulations to young front black at greenside and builders port elizabeth i am speechless how do you keep this up 12 years in a row since lara and her team took the trophy for the first time just incredible. Johan, we say good night to you now, but you've coordinated the GCA competition for some years now. How has it been for you? Thank you, Paul. The last four years as a GCA coordinator was such an amazing journey. To see the standards of each garden center being raised year after year. I gave my heart and soul to this competition and it's been an incredibly special journey. Working alongside the people in this green industry has been a life-changing experience I will never forget. And each one of you holds a special place in my heart. And once again, congratulations to all the awardees. Thanks, Paul. And you have been an amazing MC. And I must say, you look smashing as always. And it was exciting to share the stage with you. Fantastic. Likewise, Johan, I'm, uh, I'm very appreciative. And uh, you have done a sterling job. Well done. We are super proud of you. And don't lose that enormous energy bubble you have. We now move on to the Sali Shield of Excellence. The South African Landscapers Institute was formed in 1984 and the Sali Shield of Excellence has been awarded as Sali's premier annual landscaping award for the past 35 years or so. This year, the prestigious Sali Shield of Excellence in Landscaping is awarded to Vula Environmental Services for the Hout Bay Dune Rehabilitation Project in Cape Town. The rehabilitation of the dunes at Hout Bay is a pioneering and groundbreaking example of a remarkable world-class environmental landscaping project. The project showcases the ultimate essence of a sustainable project because it has no irrigation. Much of the project's success is due to landscape contra contractors' value of search and rescue prior to rehabilitation. The judge has also commended the contractor's highly specialized knowledge of paintballs, active rehabilitation and felt management. The Hot Bay Dune project is a world-class example of adaptive management. Throughout the project, Wula's specialized environmental services showcase their ability to solve problems, research, monitor, and adapt to evolving challenges. The initial function of the planting was to stabilize the dune and to change the soil dynamic for indigenous species to rehabilitate. This double gold award-winning water-wise landscaping rehabilitation project 
adds value not just to the Hout Bay dunes, but also to the larger Hout Bay area. Vula Environmental Services, you are a worthy winner of the 2020 Sali Shield at the annual Awards of Excellence. Congratulations, Dion. And now, we move to Sadrick's highest honor, the honors roll. This person spent a decade serving on the board of SANA, eventually becoming SANA president 2005 to 6. He served a decade as a Sadrick board member, first as a SANA rep to Sadrick, and later as a Sadrick board member, liaising with government on issues related to the drought and water. He served a decade as a Sali Western Cape regional judge, and five years as the national judge for the South African Landscapers Institute's Awards of Excellence. For two decades, he has been one of three members of the industry who liaises with the city of Cape Town regarding water allocations, bylaws, and water restrictions affecting the green industries in the greater Cape Town area. He has served for two decades on the green industry point team to government. He was particularly involved in negotiations relating to National Environment Management Biodiversity Act legislation including being on the special green industry advisory boards for both threatened and endangered species, that's TOPS, and alien and invasive species, AIS regulations. He was a green industries representative to parliamentary hearings in 2003, when the NEMBA AIS regulations were challenged in parliament. And he presented the green industry views to parliament on the upcoming NEMBA AIS legislation during a 30 minute parliamentary slot allocated to the green industries. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sadrick Honours Roll for 2020 is awarded to none other than Morne Falhamar. As a Prime Media Broadcasting resident gardening expert, Morne spent 18 years devoting an hour a week to promoting the interests of landscapers, growers, tree fellers, and irrigation contractors, as well as promoting gardening as a premier leisure time pursuit on Cake Talk and Radio 702. He is a worthy recipient of the 2020 Sadrick Honours Roll. Well done, Morne. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to Sana's highest honor. We cross back to Peter Uncle in Cape Town for the Sana Gold Medal. Thank you, Paul, and well done, Mona. SANA's gold medal is our association's highest honor. This medal is awarded to a dedicated SANA member who has been a loyal supporter of the association and who has made a valuable contribution to the green industry over numerous years. A trailblazer and a role model to many, she certainly has made a mark on the industry. A merit award winner as well as a service award recipient before her work on the SANA Exco as GCA chairperson. Vice President, and finally the First Lady President of our association. Her commitment to SANA has continued after selling her interest in ECOGS as a new moderator in the GCA competition. Hugely popular and a friend to many in our industry, she continues to hold the torch high for the next generation and has left a legacy in SANA that will be referred to and remembered fondly for many years to come. The SANA Gold Medal for 2020 acknowledges this contribution and says thank you to Dawn Collard, a SANI honorary member and stalwart of the modern SANA. Well done, Dawn. You deserve all the accolades. This award couldn't have gone to a nicer person. Once again, a huge congratulations to all the winners and award recipients. You can be proud of your achievements, which is just reward for the hard work that you all put in. I'd also like to thank our MC, Paul Fonk, for another polished performance. 
At the end of the president's term, it is customary to hand over the presidential chains to the incoming president. As you all know, sadly, these chains now reside somewhere in Dipslert. The presidential chain was largely ceremonial and was only worn at convention and used in the handover. There has been some debate as to the feasibility of replacing it or whether to move over to something more relevant. I've had discussions with some past presidents and they have suggested that it is an opportunity to do something new. With the above in mind, the EXCO approved the following. The incoming president will receive a blazer on handover with the SANA logo embroidered in gold on the pocket, together with the wording President and Term of Office. This would then be something that the president can wear at all official functions and visits during his or her two-year term. Similarly, the past president will receive a blazer with a SANA logo embroidered in green on the pocket. All the past presidents of SANA would be entitled to wear this. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce the incoming president of SANA, a man who probably doesn't need any introduction, but he's going to get it anyway. Many of you will know Paul Funk as the head of Mayford Seeds for Sub-Saharan Africa and also the driving force behind SAGIC for many years. He was awarded SANA's highest honor, the gold medal, in 2015 for his contribution to the green industry. He is a people's person, and as he himself says, if you don't make a difference, you don't matter. I've had the pleasure of working with Paul the last two years, and I'm confident that Paul will take SANA to new heights. And with his wealth of experience and his positive leadership style, he will make a difference. It now gives me great pleasure to welcome Mr. Paul Funk on screen to accept his blazer and the SANA presidency. Wow, Peter, that is absolutely awesome. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the SANA badge on, on the jacket. I'm just going to have someone put it on for me now. And there it is. The Sana President's badge. Thank you, Peter. I have no doubt our members will approve of this pretty cool new tradition. As you already mentioned, as past president, you will have similar insignia on in your jacket in Sana Green, reflecting the period of your presidency. And what a presidency it was. You are one in a million, Peter. You spent an incredible 10 years with the association initially masterminding the finances and budgeting numerous conventions into surplus, followed by an excellent two years at the wheel as president. Ladies and gentlemen, I stood right next to this man during his term while he ducked bullets and even took a few to the chest, dealing with member demands, queries and requests, and then he was faced with the worst possible crisis in living memory. And he took it all as cool as a cucumber, unflappable, and he dealt with it all in his trademark calm and collected manner all the while ensuring members' interests always came first. As COVID hit, your masterstroke was, of course, your insistence in ensuring SANA was categorized under agriculture and fighting for the implementation of early trading for all SANA members, literally working seven days a week to achieve this. You're simply a legend, Peter. Congratulations on the job exceedingly well done. As is tradition, it is my absolute pleasure to hand over to you the SANA Presidential Certificate of Achievement on behalf of the Executive Council, the SANA staff, and all of our members, our sincere appreciation for your service and presidency. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, smartly attired with a brand new tradition in a well-deserved SANA past president's blazer. Congratulations, Peter, and thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. Thank you, Paul, for those most kind words. It was a privilege to serve our industry. I will always hold SANA's interest top of mind and look forward to helping where I can. The certificate will find pride of place in my office and will be a constant reminder of how privileged I am to be part of this wonderful association. Enough about me. It's all about Paul now. It's your time, Paul. Don't forget to enjoy yourself. SANA is in good hands. I've still got a slight bit of stress left before we start enjoying ourselves, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, at the time, President Ronald Reagan was already the oldest president in history when he ran for a second term. 
And during the this reporter asked him if he would have the stamina to survive a Cuban crisis as President Kennedy had done before him. His reply was a Reagan classic. He said, I sure do. And let me assure you, I will not make age an issue of my campaign. I will not exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. He went on to say it was Cicero in 43 BC who said that, if it was not for the elders correcting the mistakes of the young, there would be no state. Well, read into that what you will, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Past President, members of the EXCO, fellow members, this moment marks my first address to you, a constitutional duty dating back to 1946, 47 rather, when SANA was first inaugurated. And for our friends in the press and journalism who place a high premium on accuracy, let me say that it is simply not true that I was actually at that first meeting in Wilkinson in 1947, as many have assumed. What is true is that it is an absolute honor to serve, and I will do so to the very best of my ability. The theme of the term will be a continuation of something that you, Peter, impressed on us relentlessly. The strategy is very simple. We are a member-driven organization, and we serve at the pleasure of the members. We simply need full input from members, and we will take care of the implementation. In the words of President Kennedy, ask not what SANA can do for you, ask what you can do for SANA. My journey to this point has been absolutely littered with wonderful friends and acquaintances who have inspired and motivated me all along the way. I met, I met Dawn Collard and Wayne Stewart at a karaoke evening some 20 years ago. Then soon after, I met Tanya Flisser in a warm bath. I'm sorry, that should read warm baths. Um, you'll know what it means. I met Nick Sturdell in his dad's office, and I met Ryan Goodwin at a Pretoria GCA meeting. Well, they all went on to become SANA presidents, and along with Peter, I couldn't be happier. They are all agreeable to serve as a sounding board of guidance for my term. So you're in good hands, ladies and gentlemen. Moreover, I have the following sterling silver team on board to guide your beloved SANA through the next two years. They are immediate past president, Peter Runkel, who stays on for one year to watch over me. And he will also handhold the transfer of the finance function to an outsourced function. VP membership, Chelsea Stoll, with the SANA office team under her wing, Paddy, Wendy, and Alana, along with elected member membership, Trevor Ghost. VP membership, Kathy Varney, uh, I beg your pardon, VP marketing, Kathy Varney, with LIAG and the marketing committee under her wing, along with elected member marketing, Carl Mulman. VP operations, William Webb, with his immediate task at hand being the sale of the SANA site. Then we have the association chairs, Johan Dupier, Apster, Freddie Makubo, BPGA, Mone Falhammer, GCA national chair, and will be looking after the GCA competition. Jan Lubinger, a very welcome, welcome as growers chair. Elected member HDI, Kerry Goodwin. Co-opted member natural resources and SAGIC rep, Kay Montgomery. Then we have our forum leaders, KZN, Colette Norris, and Mpuma Lange, Diane Ross. GCA Central, Jan van Blaak. IGCA Administrator, Khadi Olifir. IGCA Congress Chair and also Bursaries Chair, Wade Stewart. Food and Trees for African Representative, Tanya Fisser. And our SANA Rep to Agri-SA, Khadi Olifir. Wow, what a team. Thank you for your eager willingness to serve and your work begins first thing tomorrow morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be my honor to serve with all these friends on board. And that brings a hand over to an end. It's safe to say that there's a very special reason for the timing of today's event. Tomorrow being the first Thursday in August, the traditional timing of the spring ball. You can just feel the temperatures popping. Season is upon us and I couldn't be happier than to announce that spring is here. May it be the very best all time sales record for everyone. Much luck and have all the best fun in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings the 2020 Annual Green Industry Awards ceremony to a close. Thank you for your attendance, our vast attendance, which is absolutely wonderful. We are, we, we are absolutely overjoyed. And a final warm thank you to the entire hardworking team who brought you today's event. Firstly, to Warwick and Bianca at the Gardner Studio, presenters Peter and Johan, and then the 2020 Awards Committee. Chairman William Webb, along with Peter, Anna-Marie, Dez, Ida-Marie, 
Paddy, Wendy, Alana, and Corne. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it was an absolute pleasure to be your MC today. For me, until we meet again, our Peter Zen, good Godspeed, goodbye, and good night. Congratulations to all our winners. Once again, a special mention and thanks to all our partners and sponsors.